Hi, my name is Robbie Janay with Shutterstock.com and today we're going to be teaching you how to render out and export your project in After Effects. Let's get started. Whenever you're starting out in After Effects, it can be tough to figure out what you're doing and what button does what because it's so vastly different from other programs you've probably been using such as Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. So whenever you finally finish that first After Effects project, here's a quick guide to get that project to market. So for most of you watching this tutorial, it's probably your first time working with After Effects. And to warn you, you'll probably be going through the five stages of After Effects grief. <laughs> this isn't that hard. Oh, so now you decide to crash. Please, just play in real time. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's done. Once you've processed those five stages, you'll be finally done with your composition. So let's get to exporting. So play back your composition and make sure that everything is right. Right now we're using one of our lower thirds templates for Shutterstock. So whenever you're ready, just go to Composition and Add to Render Queue. And that will automatically place your composition into the Render Queue. So the Render Queue is a place where your compositions are basically waiting in line to be exported. So if you have a large scale After Effects project, you can add a bunch of different compositions to here that you can batch export in one run. So if you want to check your render settings, you can go in here and uh, make sure that everything is all correct. If this looks like a completely foreign language to you, don't worry about it because usually After Effects will just match the quality to best and you'll be fine off. One thing you do need to check before you export is the output module. So whenever you're here, it's going to show you, you know, what it's going to be exported as. QuickTime is the best you know, sequence to be exporting in. It's just going to match your settings and it's going to be the easiest to access later. But there's an important thing that you need to choose. Whenever you're choosing the channel that you're exporting out, um, you need to know if you're going to do RGB or RGB alpha. So when you export an RGB, it's going to include the background in your After Effects composition. So if you're exporting something like a complete animation that's not going to go over something, then RGB is the route to go. If you're exporting something like a lower third or a graphic that's going to be placed over a video, then you're going to need to export an RGB plus alpha. That's going to make your background transparent whenever you use it in a different program such as Premiere or Final Cut. If you need to change your codec, all you gotta do is just click Format Options and the Video Codec drop-down menu will be right here. So since we're exporting a lower thirds, we've selected RGB plus Alpha, press OK, and then Output to the drive of your selection. So I'm gonna click mine. So once you've selected your output location, you are good to go. So all you do is just click Render, so once it's completely rendered, you'll hear a little ding and it's done. So congratulations, you've exported your first After Effects project. Go buy yourself a cookie because you probably haven't eaten. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos that will teach you how to become a better filmmaker. I'm Robbie Janay with Shutterstock.com and we'll see you next time.